Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Busted Grill Garage. Tonight, we're finally gonna tear into uh, our G-Body, AKA the background to all of our videos that we haven't touched in probably, I don't know, six months. I know some of you guys are probably going to want a walk around video of this car, but I'm not doing one tonight and I'll tell you why. Kind of hard to do a walk around video of a car when you can only walk on two sides of the car. It'd be like a, uh, halfway walk around or a walk halfway around the car around or something like that. It wouldn't be a walk around. So we'll do that one day when it's not 1030 in the evening and pitch black outside. So we'll get to it. Just not tonight. So the goal for this evening is to get our door rubbers put on. That way we can start checking our door gaps, which a little bit tricky to do. Without any, without any door rubbers in there. So I'm gonna get you guys close into it and kind of show you guys how to do it. And we'll go from there and see how much we can done, get done tonight. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that this is going to be the same for all of your G-bodies, you know, your Grand Prix, your Monte Carlo's Cutlass, Buick Regal. Um, pretty straightforward, even though I've never done it before, but it surely can't be that hard, right? But what I'm going to do to start with is take a little bit of weather stripping adhesive on the very end where it's fastened by just a couple screws here. And I'm going to... Maybe. All right, let's see here. Take a brush and kind of get it around even. Don't get too close to it. From there. and take and fit the end of it up. And with this weather stripping adhesive, you will have to hold it for a few minutes anyway. So I wanna let this kind of tack up a little bit, maybe where it'll stay into place, and then we'll go from there. So I've gone ahead and let this weather stripping adhesive kind of tack up and dry, and I've put the two screws that hold the end of this piece of weather stripping in. So now all that it amounts to anymore is taking your push pieces here, lining them up with your holes right here, and working your way around the door.
All right, so I've worked my, my way around the door and on the other end of the weather stripping, it's just kind of the same deal. Just a little bit of weather stripping there, or a little bit of weather stripping adhesive, rather. And you get it all over your hands and try not to get it all over the car. And then you end up doing it anyway. Just like on the other end, there is two screw holes. So we're finally starting to feel like we're making a little bit of progress on this thing. Got door seals put on and hopefully here in the next few weeks, we'll be working on this thing quite a bit more. We're gonna do upper door seals. I'm gonna pull that chrome piece back off of there and do our upper door seals and then work on bumper alignment. Yeah, you see that? And how the bumper's tucked up into the bumper cover? Yeah, that's not good. So we're gonna get that addressed and there'll be a lot more to come with this car here in the next few weeks, hopefully. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna finish this off here. I thought I'd make a, just a quick little video of a little bit of progress we had on this. I think these new door seals look pretty nice on this car and I'm looking forward to finishing the whole, finishing it up, taking it to a few, to a few car shows, hopefully before the end of the summer. Um, I'm glad you guys got to come along with me and kind of learn with me because this is something that I've never done before either. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this one off here. So stay tuned for more of the Cutlass and We'll see you guys later.